A warm welcome to the newsroom. I am Jerusha Amarigo. President Mohamedou Buhari has met behind closed doors with President Patrice Salon of Benin Republic at the State House in Abuja. Salon was last met with the Nigerian leader in June 2019 in the villa to thank Buhari for ordering the reopening of Nigerian borders in December 2020. Buhari had in August 2019 ordered closure of Nigerians' borders to check for smuggling of rice and other food products as well as small arms and light weapons. The president and the visiting Beninese leader are also expected to discuss security and bilateral matters as well as other sub regional issues. The 12 man judicial panel of inquiry set up by the governor of Oyo State, Sheyu Makinde, to look into petitions of police brutality and victimization in the state will begin public hearing on Tuesday, 26 January 2021. The panel, after concluding its preliminary analysis of complaints and petitions submitted by victims of police brutality and victimizations, will begin the public hearing at the House of Chiefs or your State House of Assembly Complex Secretariat Ibadan from 9 a.m. daily. According to a public notice signed by the Secretary to the panel, all petitioners and residents and respondents have been served with hearing notice and are expected to appear before the panel on the dates contained in their respective hearing notices. The Bayelsa State House of Assembly has debunked insinuations in certain quarters that it had concluded plans to impeach Governor Duoye Diri. Chairman House, House Committee on Information Orientation and Strategy, Tare Pori, denied the speculations during a press briefing at the Assembly Complex in Yenugwa. He said the rumors impeachment moved against Diri were disastrous and unfounded, as well as an attempt to distract the Sixth Assembly. Executive Director, National Primary Health Care Development Agency for South Shwaib, says Nigeria has more than enough facilities to store the 100,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccines being expected late January or early February. Shwaib made the clarifications at the briefing of the Presidential Tax Force in COVID-19 in Abuja, describing it as untrue insinuations at the expectations of 100,000 doses will be wasted due to the lack of storage facilities. Shwaib also said it is a decision of the government through the PDF, PTF and the Ministry of Health not to invest too heavily in ultra-cold chain equipment, hence decisions to go for vaccines that can be stored with the equipment being used to store vaccines for routine polio immunizations. And in business, the Naira dripped slightly after its exchange for 474 Naira a dollar at the parallel market on Monday. It had earlier exchanged for 470 Naira a dollar for, for, for most of last week. According to the Association of Biru, the change of practice of Nigeria, the central bank had continued to ensure it achieved exchange rate stability. APCA noted that the funding of the Biru, the change has also helped to deepen the forex market and reduce level of forex caste and always formed and allow form a basis of speculative activities. The Tunisian president, Kai Saeed, has urged protesters to desist from vandalizing private and public properties. This comes after a fourth consecutive day of protests across the country against social economic crisis and high unemployment rates, amongst others. On Monday, officials said more than 600 people had been arrested and troops had been deployed after a third consecutive day of the protests. The protests erupted days after Tunisia commemorated the 10th anniversary since the exile of its former president. In the world of sports, Aqua United were held for the second consecutive week at Wiki Tournament and in a 1-1 draw at the Gotu Lakpabio International Stadium Uyo in March Day 5 of the Nigerian Professional Football League fixture on Monday. The promise keepers are currently 12th in the league table after five consecutive games, recording one win, a loss and three draws, with two of the draws coming from their home games. Aquai Bomb will, will return to the Aquai Bomb will hope to return to winning ways when they visit fellow strugglers Hatland on Sunday. Thank you for staying with us on this package. I am Jerusha Amarimbo.